Hey, wonderful people. My new lathe, it's a Warco WM250 with a powered lead screw. And this version comes with the WM14 mill screwed onto the back of the lathe. What do I think about it? I think it's jolly good. There's one or two little issues, but in fact, some of the issues of it being Chinese and reasonably low cost are to your advantage. It's incredibly basic. It's the Fordson tractor. It's the Massey Ferguson of lathes. It's pretty simple to work on. And if you do have a problem, I think you can fix it. But I haven't had a problem. It's dead spot on accurate. Okay, the mill needed tramming in just to be level with the, um, with the carriage, but that's okay. The idea of this combined mill is the actual carriage is wide enough to mount both a quick change tool post and a milling vise on the back so you can actually mill. It's a little cramped. If you need to do bigger parts, you have to take, take off the, the tool post, which is a little awkward. I think it's probably better if you can afford it and you've got the space to have a separate mill. But for the price, so how much did this all cost me? The <coughs> lathe is under three thousand pounds euros, and the mill's about eight hundred. Prices vary. Check with Warco or with Weiss, who actually make it. So it's made by a company called Weiss in China. It's sprayed in Warco colors, and this is my slight gripe. So Warco promise, and this is why I got it from Warco, that the Chinese lathes are all checked by their qualified engineers that you can just plug and play when you get them home. Well, I don't think they really did it very much. Both the lathe and the mill did actually work pretty well individually, but they didn't actually fit together. So I don't think they checked it out for me. The mill was threaded for M10, but the lathe bed to take the mill is threaded for M8. <laughs> so things like that, I just slightly worry. Plus I had a nightmare of shipping, but that's probably my issue because I live here in the EU. Britain, Brexit and the EU don't play well together and it actually cost me a lot more money than Warco predicted. I just don't think they know very well about international shipping. But if you live in the UK, the WM250, this is the same lathe that Quinn at Blondie Hex has. It's a really good, accurate lathe. I could take you on a guided tour, but this is more of an overview if you're interested in the WM250 and the combined WM14 mill. They're all very speed. What have I done to it since I got it? Well, the main thing that I wanted was a DRO. And I really couldn't afford the three axis DRO. So I've made one and I've used this company called Lin who make a, uh, a DRO here that just slides up backwards and forwards with a micrometer. Excellent. The Z axis actually comes with a DRO on the mill, but it's really hard to see. So I added a little light. And um, as you move the mill head down, either grossly or with the fine feed, it's pretty accurate. And the uh, Y axis, I've added a small DRO on the left hand side of the uh, cross slide. It, it was pretty easy if you want ideas or plans how to do it. There's a space for a DRO either on the left or the right. The left is a good idea because on the right you've got your vital to have carriage lock. But here's a big carriage lock tip. If you have a combined uh, mill and lathe, you can use the lead screw 
engage hobnut as a carriage stop when you're milling. <laughs> it's uh, maybe not absolutely accurate and you need to use the carriage stop as well, but for a gross carriage stop, maybe then place your work and move it around. It really does lock it in place. Is the mill accurate? Yes. Is it easy to use? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. So as an overview, it's a low cost, very accurate Chinese lathe that needs your help when you get it, but not much. A lot of people have rebuilt them. They really don't need it. If you're accurate to a few thousand making hobby parts, here's a Quinn test piece that I made, absolutely spot on. Edge finding, center drilling, and, uh, and face milling, and uh, it takes an M2 taper, which is pretty standard. Both the mill and the tailstock both take M2 tapers, so you're pretty good on tools. You will need a spend quite a lot of money on extra milling parts. The uh, quick change tool post, so this is the cutoff um, blade, is all extra, so whatever your budget is budget at least another thousand euros pounds dollars for tooling but it's great it's keeping me amused and out of trouble well i get into trouble anyway enjoy your own wm 250 lathe